Hi everyone, Victor here again and in today's lesson we'll be looking at how to control application permissions with security context constraint which is also called SCC. So what is security context constraint? Security context constraint is a security mechanism and what does this security mechanism do? SCC which is security context constraint allows you to control what action and access the ports in the containers can have. So basically, it allows one to control permissions for ports in the cluster. Permissions such as whether the container can use host directories as volumes or not, whether the, the SLNOS context of the container can be changed or not, whether we can run container as a particular user ID or not, whether to use or whether to run privileged containers or not, and you know, etc. And when you create containers and when they refuse to run, it is necessary to relax security on some containers that are not allowed to access host resources by default. Resources such as socket, file systems, and etc. So the security on these containers can be relaxed by sometimes changing the security con context constraint of the container, especially containers that are developed by the community. So to see how the security context constraint on OpenShift, as the cluster admin, we can use the command OC get security context constraint. So you can see that we have um, quite numbers of them. They should be about eight. So we have the NUID, we have the um, restricted, we have the host access. So if you make your screen uh, bigger, you're going to see um, them well with some of the information that is attached to them. And most containers or pods especially the ones created by OpenShift itself, uses the restricted security con context, which is this one, right? And so let's, let's see the security context of an OpenShift port. So to see the security context, the security context constraint of a port, we can use the command but first, let's even get some pods in the OpenShift console namespace. So um, I can just do OC get pod OpenShift console. So I want to get um, the pod that OpenShift is running itself. So this is um, a pod that is being run by OpenShift by OpenShift itself rather. So I can just say um, OC. So to get the security context constraint that this pod is running on, I can just do do OC describe pod. Then I can use the name of the pod in the namespace OpenShift console. Then I can grep this to SCC. So you can see that this pod is using the, the restricted SEC, is running on the restricted security contest constraint. And for a pod in this mode, limited access will, will be provided to resources outside of the OpenShift because it is in the restricted SCC. And if you if you want to see more information about a particular SCC, you can just use the command OC describe SCC, then the name of the SCC. So let's see more information about the restricted SCC. So you can see different information about this. Priority is known, access to users is known, but to groups, it is a um, system authenticated. If you scroll down, you can see uh, more information about this SCC. And containers pulled from the public registries 
such as Docker Hub may not use the restricted security context constraint. So whenever you have, um, in case a pod fails to run due to permissions, restriction or limitations issue. So when you, when you see that a pod is failing to run and you check the logs of the container or of the pod, and you are having this um, permission error limitation issue, you can, OpenShift has provided a very good tool, which is a subcommand called the SEC subject review that allows us to know the particular security context constraint a pod should run with so that they can start up and not keep failing or crashing. And this tool will examine the pod configuration and informs us the and tells us the particular SEC to use so that the pod can run. And we can then change the SEC to the recommended one by the system. Let's let's understand this more by examples. So what I'm going to do is to log in as the developer user. All right, and now I'm going to create an application pod. So I'm going to be creating the GitLab application. So to do that, I can just do OC create deployment. I'm going to call the deployment GitLab an image. So if I do OC get pod, So this is running. I can do OC get pods again. It's still running. OC get pods. So I have error now. I have error. OC get pods. I have error. So what happens is that this container, this pod rather, would keep you know coming up and you know going into a loop. So now that we have this error, we can check the log to see what is happening here. So I can just say OC logs with the name of the container or the name of the pod rather. So if you look at the error here, you can see that we have cannot create regular file here, which is saying permission denied. And like I've said that when you have this kind of error, errors such as permission errors or limitation errors then we can use a tool which is the SCC review tool to check um, the type of the security context constraints this pod should run on and to do that um, to, to check we need to log in as the cluster admin so I'm just going to log in as the cluster admin I'm going to Logging as a cost cost at me now. So it's taking its time to log in. All right. Now that we've been able to log in, I can now ch I cannot check with the SCC subject review to see the SCC this pod should run on. So to do that, I can say OC get pod slash the name of the pod so the pod in question here is this pod so i'm just going to paste it here and i'm going to output this to yaml and i'm going to pipe this to oc adm policy and like i've mentioned that when, whenever in one of our previous lessons that whenever you're using the oc adm adm policy you can only use, use this command if you're logged in as the cluster admin. So then I can pass this to our two, which is the SCC subject subject review. So now you can see that this tool is letting us know that this the the security context of this the security context constraint of this pod should run by using the any uid security context constraint so 
we need to change this pod to run with this SCC. You, you would take some couple of steps to change the SCC a pod is running on. And the first step is to create a service account. So to create a service account, we can use the command OC create service account. I can write it in full like service account, service, service account. And if I wish, I can you know write it in short as service account. So I can give it any name. I can just say GitLab service account, GitLab service account. So if I do OC get service account, so you see that we have the GitLab service account. So after creating the service account, the second step you need to take is to associate the service account that you have created with a security contest constraint. So to do that, we can just use the command OC ADM policy add SCC to user and we are adding the any UID SCC right so we are adding it to as a context to this service account which is GitLab SA so you can now see that this has been added and after doing this the last step is to modify the application pod to use the new service account and to do that we, we need to um, of course log in back as the um, developer user to be able to modify the app to now use this service account that we've created this service account that will bound to this SEC that we've created. So now I'm going to log in as the developer. I as as the developer user. So I'm just going to log in here. And now I'm going to update the application to use the new service account. So to update the application to use the new service account. I can just use the command OC set service account or SA, whichever one, service account deployment. The deployment is GitLab and the service account is GitLab SA. So you can now see that this has been updated. So now if I do OC get port, so you can see that it's creating a new container for us. So it's, of course, it's going to crash and terminate this one. And we should have another new container being created. So let's see um, how this is going to play out. So I'm just going to put this in watch mode. So we can see that the new one is running while the old one is terminating. So it's still, let's see, let's see now, it's still terminating. So if I see, say, OC get port, it's like my cluster is beginning to become unstable. <laughs> Not at this point when we're almost done with this lesson. Come on, come on, come on. Don't do this. <laughs> All right. Anyways, you can see that it is running already and the old one is terminating. So in case my cluster fails, we, we, we are, we've been able to achieve a result already. But I'm, I'm just going to wait for a while. Yeah, my cluster is beginning to become unstable. Let me wait. Let's see again. Let's see what's happening. You know, sometimes um, because I'm running a CRC node, you might, you know, begin to have this kind of issue sometimes. 
the cluster is stable again <laughs> so you can see now that when i did also get pods i can see that um our pod is running so let's do also get pods again so this is running and this is fine so this is how you can change the security context constraints of a pod to another so i want to say thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel please like share comment when you do this you encourage us to do more and bye for now